Hey folks, Ashley here, allthingsdentistry.com. I just finished completing an endodontic diagnosis a treatment plan on a patient, and I was thinking to myself, well, the, the, this is one of the things that I learned, and one of the tips that we learned in the residency was use of one of our thermal tests, thermal sensitivity tests, which is using cold. In the residency we use, and pretty much everywhere I've worked, endo-ice, it was changed over the last few years, and now in it is actually 1112 tetrafluoroethane and fragrance. So I wanted to talk about the few things that I the few tips that we learned actually how to use it. But in dental school we actually use carbon dioxide. So there was a study discussing uh, this was in 2002 comparison of carbon dioxide versus refrigerant spray and this was Jones et al and what they found was that dry ice, the CO carbon dioxide, took significantly longer to produce a response. So this study in 1999 by Jones, the effect of carrier, type of carrier used on the results, on the results of dichlorodifluoromethane application to teeth. Now you can see that the, the chemical used in endo ice is what changed between 1999 and 2002 from dichlorodifluoromethane to the tetrafluoroethane. In any event, I'm not sure it plays a huge significant difference. But one of the uh, what he did in that study was he just took a, a mandibular incisor and placed a thermal probe uh, through the apex and they measured the, the temperature difference. And what he found was that the large cotton pellet, number four, I'll be honest, I'm not sure this is a number four, but a large cotton pellet provided the produced the coldest temperatures inside the pulp of the tooth. And he found this to be about a range of 35 to 45 degrees as compared to the other carriers. Now one of the things that he, you can read the, the article online. Uh, the biggest thing change in, in my experience is that we I used to be using a cod tip applicator, take the uh, endo ice, spray it on the end, and then off you go. And he suggests that you don't get the coldest temperature because of the tightly bound cotton around the, the wood stick. So when you use a large cotton pellet, not only is it just the size that you, uh, you, it can absorb more of the refrigerant, but also it's not it's loosely bound, so it can absorb more. It's cold. So one of the things that we do in the residency, and you can, I mean, what he, what Jones also found was that actually the dip versus so dipping it in spraying in the bottom of the cup versus spraying five millimeters away so the five millimeters actually produced uh, colder results but the thing is is that when you're doing multiple teeth you can res preserve some, keep this will the liquid will keep in the bottom of the cup for um, say up to 30 seconds so what we do in the residency is what we've been taught is to make sure that you use forceps, large cotton uh, pellet, and then keep some in the in the, uh, the bottom of a cup. And also this keeps you from spraying everyone. And then off you go do your cold test. So those two lit art literature articles are up, and you can take a review. And sort of that's uh, I hope that helps. Cheers.